Hi, I'm Lady Lex UK and this is Epic Dreams. Today we are playing Pathogen by Jiffy Jaff. Uh, it says it's the best horror experience in dreams and um, it's got an estimated playtime of 1 hour and 45 minutes. So uh, I'll be cutting this video up into sizable chunks. So uh, let's play. intro there warning this game contains violence gore shocking imagery sad moments mild swearing and strong themes of dread if you don't like any of these i recommend you do not play okay well let's finish now <laughs> let's play let's play we're good uh we've come here for horror so let's try in order to accept life you must first come to terms with the death who said that? Me, just then. Pathogen. And we've got some spooky, spooky white masks. At least I think they're masks, yes. Okay, I was sent a letter by a Miss Clementine Briggs, whose name at first glance I did not recognise. However, I soon came to realise that this was the daughter of the matriarch of our family, Josephine Dumay, meaning that she was my grandmother, at least I believe so. Clementine Briggs, who must be my aunt, said to return to Ashmore for a family reunion of sorts. Why would I return there? The only thing left for me there is my mother, who didn't want to leave because our heritage lies in this city of Ashmore. I had no plans of returning, however, Miss Briggs said in her letter that Mother was fallen sick with the plague. At least that gives me a reason to return. Oh, the plague. Oh dear. There's a crow there. So, is this set in medieval times? With the plague? It sounds like we're on a horse and cart. Thunder and lightning, just right for horror. I'm back in Ashmore. My house is just down the street a bit. Okay, so not medieval then, sort of more Victorian. Press or hold R2 to interact with the hand icon. Interact with blue papers and read them. There's the hand icon. All right, the Ashmore paper. It is official. The head of the county has ordered that no more supplies are to be shipped to the town of Ashmore. This means no more assistance from the government during these dark times. The head of the county has refused to comment on why this decision was made. Okay. There's a guy with no shirt on. Why are you sat out here in the cold and wet? God, he doesn't look very well, does he? He's probably got the plague. Hmm. Oh, right. Watch out for those shiskers. They're breaking into people's houses. That's why I'm out here watching. Oh, okay. What's a shisker? <laughs> it's all very mysterious, isn't it? Um, okay. your house. Looks as if I might be quite posh. Finally, I'm home. Why are the windows boarded up? I should finish my work in my office and I can finally go to sleep. Is this my office? Finish your work in your office. Is this the work? 
to Morgan Dumay. Hello, dear. I know you most likely do not wish me to write to you, but I've forgotten news of what is happening there in Ashmore. Terrible plague caused by crows, apparently. Oh, like, like um, bird flu. But on a scale like this, I do not think that simple crows could cause a catastrophe like this. That quack of a mare is probably hiding something from the public. Okay. Anyway, I hope you all remain safe and healthy. If I were you, I'd get out of that town as soon as possible. Sincerely, Thomas. P.S. Me and Julia are set to wed in November. Not that you'd care. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Seems like a nice, nice letter, but um, obviously not. Um, there's obviously a rift in the family. To Morgan Dumay, is that me? Okay, how do I get away from... Oh, wait. Stop sending letters. Oh, dear. What have we got in here? Ooh. Oh, we can open it. There's something in there. Oh, yes. Picked up oil. What's this side? No, nothing there. Um, okay. Um. Those are the letters. It's dark, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's dark here. I'm terribly afraid of the dark. Say, where did I leave my lantern? Well, where indeed? Is it... I left it in there, or...? Oh, if it's gone really wobbly. Ooh. Why is it going wibbly wobbly? Is it? What's this? To my surprise, the outside world is just now learning about what is happening here in Ashmore. They never knew about a plague or a cult or anything that is wrong with this damn town. Truth is, this place has never been right. My family have lived here for decades, yet there's always something wrong. It's just got worse every day. Morgan to me. How did one of my notes get down here? Oh. Okay. And why is everything wibbly wobbly? Like we're in a dream. Wibbly, 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 wobbly. Oh, it stopped. Why is that wibbly, wobbly? Anyway, up we go. Well, we picked up a lantern. How do I square? Oh yeah. Okay. There we are. Aha. I don't need to use the restroom. Oh, that's the restroom. Room. It's a mess, whatever it is. Is this my office? It looks like a music room. It's got a piano in it. Oh, it is my office. Time to finish my work. Okay, that should be it. Okay, what, what was the work? Wait, I forgot. Mother wanted me to pick up a book from the library. Okay. I should leave and get to the library before it closes. Um, okay, what's this though? I've seen people on the streets, people with white masks. Ah, okay. They almost look like the background actors from the theatre, the ones who would always be there to fill in for background people. But these people are different, at least in some way. They have symbols on their masks too, but I don't recognise it. And um, what's this note? A man knocked my door last night, holding his daughter in his arms. He said he was immune, but his daughter got terribly sick from the plague. He asked if I could treat her, and I tried my best. I'm the only person on this block who has medical experience, so I know why he came to me. I was unable to help his daughter, so he told me to find someone else to take her to. I haven't heard from him since. Okay. Still haven't heard from that man. There's a piano. Oh. Ooh. Oh, hello. I can pick up the stool as well. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm so good at playing. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay. I guess we go to the library. Um, is that library like a public library? I'm not going to bed yet. I have to finish my work first. Okay. Alright. Um, shut the door. Right, let's go to the library then. Out to the front door. Um, the front door was this way, this way, wasn't it? It's when we came in. Yep. 
Oh god, the front door's open. A bit awkward. Ah, okay. I obviously didn't shut it when I came in. Could have got burglars. Right, I'm almost at the library. Well, nice night for it. <laughs> oh, we've got the moon is up. What's this? Have a note. A group of cultists, dubbed by many as the Shiskas, oh, these are the Shiskas then, have made their presence known to those in Ashmore. They preach about how the gods, or as they call them, the precursors, have begun to awaken from their eternal slumber. Sounds like a bunch of crap to me. <laughs> okay. Curfew is about to start soon. I'd better get to the library as soon as possible. That's a playground. Now, where's this library? Looks like the road ends here. Okay. It's very like Victorian London fog, isn't it? It's very atmospheric. Jack the Ripper's going to leap out any minute. Dear, it's a locked gate, is it? Oh no, to the town square. Okay, lots of slow walking. I don't think I can speed up any. I can zoom. Can go any faster? No, this is the speed. Oh Christ, what's going on down here? God, he's kicking him. Oh, jeez. What? They've got him. Wow. That's a policeman. Hello? I think that's a policeman. Can't wait to get off this shift. Okay. Have you got anything to say? This maggot right here broke the law. Oh, okay, so you are a policeman. Look at the mask. Okay, so they're wearing like plague masks. Oh god, there's the guy hanging. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're all hanging upside down from the from the gallows. Ooh, creepy. Okay. Um, where's the library? Do you know where the library is? Hello? Market, market stall holder. Creepy market stall holder. Look at my stock. You will not be disappointed, I guarantee. Okay. Well, it looks like you're selling bread, but uh, you don't appear to be able to buy anything. Okay. Let's have the libraries this way. Otherwise, I'm going to have to come back. Could have done with some signs or something. Aha! Aha! Oh good, I'm in. Here I am. The book should be on the main desk. I'm going to need my lamp, aren't I? Get to the main desk in the back of the library and pick up the book. Okay. Um... Yes. Uh, so, the back of the library. I'll go all the way to the end to see if it's at the end. Oh, that's something. Where's my hand? I haven't got a hand. Oh, okay there. Oh. Well, maybe I can't read that. Oh, yes, I can. Those damn fools, I told them they weren't immune, but they still went out anyway. Who left this here? Is that one of my notes? It's not signed. Who are going to sneeze? No, I'm not. Oh, I hate when does that. 
<laughs> I thought I was going to sneeze then. Uh huh. Is this the main desk? Okay. Triangle to open or close book. R1 turns to the next page. Okay. Page 1. To all who may read this book, may you listen closely to our words. We do not come with intentions of harm. Instead, we offer you a gift. A gift of eternal preservation within the heart of our ancestors, the precursors. Oh, this is a book by the Chiskas. Uh, they spilled blood and coin to fight for our existence, and yet we do not know them. Instead, everyone has forgotten about them except ourselves. These ancestors are not like us. They are not human in nature. Okay. In fact, they are nigh gods. They destroyed worlds for us, yet the people of this earth do not acknowledge them. Pitiful! That is why we, the Shiskas, have set out to preserve knowledge of these precursors. We will make everyone remember who we come from. Oh God, how long is this book? Oh, six pages, okay. Um, it was said that one day a plague more deadly than others would ravage the earth, and it has happened. The precursors have begun their awakening. When they finally awake, who knows what will happen. They could destroy us with a simple glare, after all. Or maybe they'll spare us, for we are like nothing but bugs to them. A minor inconvenience that requires no bother. Humanity has rejected the knowledge of these gods because they want to reject the truth. The truth is we are nothing. Humans are the smartest thing on the planet, and humans observe animals without their knowledge. It's the same way. The precursors look at us... Just an animal to be observed, documented, and neutralised if it is necessary. Because the precursors are our ancestors, we are all related to them through blood. However, some are related more than others. That is who we are. It is in our blood that we must acknowledge our heritage, and you, it may be in your blood too. Okay, so they think they're descended from gods. For now we are looked upon with frowns, scoffs, and grimaces. But when the time arises, and the moon is red, we'll be there. Look out for our white mask. Oh, I appear to have lost my lantern. Oh, okay, that's it. I've picked up the strange book. What a strange book. Why would Mother want this? Why indeed? Um, anything else here? Leave the library. Can we go this way? I think this door goes to a restricted area. Oh, okay. Well, I've lost my lantern. I'm out of oil. Okay. Um, I'm just going to have to make my way without it. So this is something to uh, bear in mind then. That the lantern has to have oil. And it's going to run out if you just keep it lit. When you don't need it lit. Oh, everything's going wibbly wobbly again. Have I got the plague, do you think? You think I'm not well and every now and then I get, like, dizzy? I wish I had someone to play chess with. Okay. Right, there's a curfew on. We've probably got to get home. I don't want those policemen arresting me. I don't be wrapped up in a... in a tarpauling and hung from a... from a gallows in the street. Right. Oh, God, it's getting really dark. I'm going to wish I hadn't run out of oil. Um, where's the door? Ah. Yeah, it goes wibbly wobbly every now and then. It's a bit weird. You leave the library and walk the path back home. When you get there, you fall straight to sleep. Uh, okay. Okay, am I sleeping? Right, day two. In the morning, I checked on Mother and told her I was going, what I was doing here. She didn't act very happy to see me. After all, it had been four years since we last talked face to face. In fact, she seemed to pay more attention to the book she wanted than her own daughter. I can't believe how much the plague has affected her. Anyway, I've opened up applications for patients to see me. Might as well make some money while I'm in town. The first patient who applied to see me was a woman named Claire, living in her apartment. Apparently she has a history of scamming people and stealing things. Not a good start. I'll go visit her anyway. Okay. A 
and there's a rat, which is suggests the plague. I've got to go out again. All right, dear Mr. May, thank you for choosing me as one of your patients, although I am not sick yet. I would like you to come visit me at my apartment. There are things I'd like to discuss. Sincerely, Claire. Okay. X to exit. Right. Oh, God. Oh. I'm controlling. That's not right. That's a bug. I shouldn't be controlling those guys. Um, okay, so... I accidentally possessed them. They must have, uh... Hmm. So if the person who made this, Jiffy Jaff, um, you can possess <laughs> this character when you're in the letter. I pressed the circle button and accidentally possessed one of your uh, NPCs. Which, uh, I don't think he's right. Oh, and they've moved now from where they were. I think, I think he's supposed to be pointing his gun at this guy. What? Oh my god, he's making a hell of a noise. Oh, that's a shisko, is it? Okay, right, right, okay. I'll just walk away, pretend I didn't see it. I think to see here. That's a horrible noise he was making. Well, well, you would do if somebody was standing on your chest. Okay, keep going. We are going to find this apartment. It's a really amazing looking place. With all this architecture. It's very gothic in its design. These uh, street lamps are good as... Um... Um, I think they might have shot him. Oh, God. Um, okay. I'll go this way. I mean, it's really... I mean, look at that for a cathedral. That's really... Ominous, isn't it? What's this? This is Shiska. We've got a gas mask on. Hello. Hello. Isn't it a beautiful morning outside? I guess. Wait a minute. Do I know you? Aren't you the daughter of that rich family? Ha! I knew it. You're the doctor, right? Morgan something. Morgan Dumay, and we're not rich anymore. Oh, well, I see. I suppose a disease can put anyone in debt, even the richest. Anyway, you can call me Sergei. Oh, should I be doing it in a, <laughs> in a, in a Russian accent? You can call me Sergei. I don't know. <laughs> I'm here conducting research on the cultists, you know, the cultists. My family have always been deep with the legends, folklore, and the supernatural. That is why I come here, to see what makes them tick. Oh no, did I go on rambling again? I'm not going to do this voice. I can't do it. Sorry, I have to have so much to say, yet I never get to say it. Anyway, why have you come to talk to Sergei? Um, I don't know, actually. <laughs> oh, what do you know about the Shiskas? I don't know much, but I've been observing them, seeing the pattern between their attacks. I've suddenly got very Welsh. How did that happen? <laughs> I would call them freaks, but my relatives are weird too, so... Anyway, I can tell they're after certain people. Certain people with immunity to the disease. I myself am not immune. However, I believe you are, correct? After all, being a doctor not being immune would be brave or stupid. Say, why you are so gay about them? Have you seen them? Um, no reason. Oh, I understand you're most likely paranoid like everyone else in this town. Understandably so. First a deadly plague, then dangerous cultists. This town is nuts. Just watch yourself. You don't want to be food for the gods. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, Sergey. Um. Okay, this way. That gave us a little bit of backstory. I'm rich or was rich. One of these rooms should belong to the patient. Find the patient's room. It won't be the first room, will it? No. Um, I'm going to go all the way to the end. Oh, hang on. There's a policeman. Why is he there? Wish that baby would shut up. Oh, God. Okay. Let's get to the end. Start at the, at the end. Right, okay. Not leaving yet. What about this door? No. This one? No. 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 Aha! Who is it? Oh, wait, is it you, Doctor? Hold on a second, I'll be right there. Oh, there she is. Spooky eyes. Hello, Doctor. Oh, wait, what shall I call you? Call me Doctor, that's fine. Uh, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure you want to know why I called you here. My brother is sick. He has the plague. Thank God I'm immune because I'm not good with illnesses. I have him locked in here in the laundry room. He's changing fast. He's lost all skin colour and he's losing hair. Worst part is he's lost all sense of, well, everything. All he does is scream and cry. So I had to gag him to stop. So anyway, um... I need you to spare me some medicine. What? Spare medicine for someone that I don't even know for sure exists? Medicine in the city is as rare as currency. Should I really do that? We're a doctor, right? You've, you've come here. <laughs> Please, doctor, I'm begging you. This medicine could really save him, or at the very least slow down the process. And please do not tell the guard. If they found my brother like this, they'd surely kill him. Oh well, yeah, exactly. I've I've seen them shoot people. So, what to do? Mhm. Mm if I give her the medicine, it might turn out to be a scam. She could just sell them and make a lot of money. Yeah, but you're she's gonna pay you, right? Because besides, I need as much medicine as possible to treat mother. Oh God. If I didn't give her the medicine, I might avoid getting scammed. But what if she is telling the truth? Please, can you give me some medicine for him? What should we do? Should we, should, we, should we be a nice doctor and give her the medicine? I mean, that's what we came here for, right? Sure, here's the medicine. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Maybe I can save him. We can go to the playground, just like old times. Okay. Leave through the exit. That was down here, right? There we go. Oh, God, there's another guy hanging from the rafters. Um, what are these? Anything to report? Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, these, these are different policemen. They look like that, like ambulance men or something with the crosses on them? I don't know. Checkpoints up ahead. Okay. Another guy here. Don't try anything. Okay. Ooh, where's, that? where's he gone? Oh. If you see any crime, report it to us. Oh, they're, they're policemen as well. They're different sorts of policemen. They're not the brutal type with the plague masks on. Okay, here's the checkpoint. Hold it, citizen! 
before you can pass this checkpoint, we'll need to do a few things. Don't worry, it's just procedure. First, I'll need to see some ID. Who even are you people? Yeah, exactly. Who are you? Us? We're Task Force Charlie. Toma. That means we've been hired by the City Council to put this place back in order. Those people in the plague outfits, they're just a hastily organised group of volunteers posing as guards. Oh, goikey, they're not even policemen. All right. We actually have military experience. Anyway, I need to see ID. Let's see here. Dumay Morgan, age 27, occupation. Oh, you're a doctor. Quite brave in this climate. Well, that seems to check out. Now, one last thing. We're going to have to check your internal body temperature to see if you're infected. To do that, I'll put this thermometer in your mouth. Oh my god, I don't even know where that's been. <laughs> Hold on a second, this will be quick. Alright, done. You're clear to pass. I well, hope you clean that thermometer. The next person comes along and you stick that in the mouth of. God. Um... Alright. You remember that during the pandemic, every time you, you went to try to go into a shop and people were waving like laser thermometers at you before they'd let you in? <laughs> I think this game was made during the pandemic. So it has a little added something. You know, we were all in a, a situation. At least we didn't have guards on the street with guns and stuff. Taking our temperature at checkpoints. I don't think we had any of that. Could have done though. Mind you, I didn't go out much. <laughs> Not in 2020. Anyway. Psst. Hey. Finally, someone's outside. This place has been eerily empty and quiet. Well, I guess that's everything in this place. You know, I saw a shisko or whatever they're called, a cultist. She was making weird hand symbols and staring at me. I ran after her, but she went into an alley and vanished without a trace. Ashmore in general is weird. It's like a mishmash of different cultures, different ideas. Nothing about this place seems to line up. Like how some days are long while other days are short. Or how people can die of starvation in just a day. It's just odd. Sounds like a computer game. Are we in a computer game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the twist? Are we in a computer game? Is this a simulation? Oh, God. Um. It certainly has a very creepy ambiance, the whole thing. This has taken a very long time to make this game. It's quite involved. There's a lot of um, really interesting environments. Um to your house. Okay. Ooh, you walk home once again. The rest of the day passes quick. You know tomorrow will be a lockdown so you get some rest. Okay, lockdowns. Right. Day three. I saw it again in my dreams. The well. I've seen it since I was a little girl. I finally stopped seeing it when I left Ashmore, but here it is again. I don't know what the well means or if it's even real, but I know that no human on this planet knows where it leads. What do you mean where a well leads? It leads to water. <laughs> Today is the quarterly lockdown, the one day that no one is allowed to leave their homes, not even doctors like me. Even guards can't leave their district. The day will go by fast, but the night is what's to be worried about. Why weapons at night? Spooky shit! Right. <laughs> Spooky shit happens at night. Okay, it's midnight. Well, why am I at my office? Time to board up the house. Oh, wow. Okay, there's a note here. Um... A man knocked my door last night. Oh, I've heard... I've, yeah, still haven't heard from that man. Yeah, well, we've read that before. Okay, planks. Ugh, so heavy, it says. Um, okay, we've got to board up the house. Board up the front door. Right, let's go. 
we can get the door open. Oh. There we go. I'm not going to... Oh, I went the wrong way. Stupid me. Of course it's this way, isn't it? I have to go down the stairs first. I'm upstairs. Right. Have I got a lamp? Oh, I do. Okay, fine. It's okay. I know where I'm going, so I don't need the lamp. But it's good to know that I have a lamp again. What's this box doing here? Um, God, it is dark though, isn't it? All right, there we are. Front door. What do I do? Just go up to it. Aha! Okay, done. Do people break in at night then? Is that what's happening? Head back to bed. Right. There we go then. Finally get to see my bedroom. Oh, it's all wibbly wobbly again. Ooh. It's weird. There's got to be a reason why we keep getting this wibbly wobbly stuff. I mean, it's not just an accident. I get to see the bedroom. It's all gone dark. Am I sleeping? What's happening? That's a long, long, long dark bit. <laughs> Oops, spooky music. crashed <laughs> it's all sound effects what's going on someone's at the door I don't even get to see my bedroom this time around okay someone's at the door why would there be somebody at the door during a lockdown well this is it Investigate who's at the door. Well, I'm not wandering around in the dark. Let's put the lamp on. I don't know why there's a box in the middle of the corridor. It wasn't there before. Um, it can't be a random person because they would get punished if they were found outside of their house during lockdown. They can't see out the window. Uh, who is it then? Someone looking for trouble? They're tapping quite, knocking quite nicely and polite. What if it's a guard? What if they finally come to take mother away and kill her? Oh god. Um, where's my gun? I've, I've got a gun. Find your gun. Look upstairs on the table in your office. Oh god. Right, let's go get my gun. Why didn't I think about this before I came downstairs? I mean, there's somebody at the door in the middle of a lockdown. Probably nefarious. Cannot be good. Mind you, if it's a guard, is, is, a, gu is a gun a good idea? They might arrest me. Um, gun. Where's my gun? Oh, there's my gun. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh, how do I pull my gun out? Um, I've got the doors in the way. Um, well, they come in the back way. Oh my god, they came in this window. What's that? That's a chica, is it? Oh, crikey. Alright, um. Whoa! Oh no! I can't get in. What have I got to do? Um, go around the outside? Oh no, that's is all boarded up. Can I go out the front door? No. 
Oh. Oh god, I should probably shouldn't have walked away from it. Ah. Uh. Oh no, oh god. Right, so we'll leave it there uh, for now and uh, join me again for part two.